It's... Like, imagine being a man that's about to marry your girl, knowing that she took on five bodies the day before y'all about to get married. That's what they do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, bro. Can you imagine that? Being that man, knowing you found Stop the love of your life. Stop fucking with people's minds, bro. Stop doing that shit. Don't do that shit. Don't, don't fuck with niggas' minds. That's fucked up. Cause now niggas are gonna be like, "Damn, I ain't never gonna get married." She gonna have a bachelorette party. I don't know. Maybe I watch too much. Nigga, porn that's hub. insane. I watch a lot of Pornhub. <laughs> never mind. The di- go on the Dancing Beer channel. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Dancing Beer? That's what... the channel name. They literally go around in a giant Dancing Beer at da- at bachelorette parties, and they literally just get their dick sucked by all of these women in the party. And you don't know who's the fucking bri- bride to be. Oh my that shit's God. crazy. You sucking dick on before your wedding. I mean, is it Jesus new? Christ? Is it a new thing? You just hope it's not your wife. Oh, you did. You never yeah, right. Seen, y'all never seen the movie The Wood? You might be too young. You never seen the movie The, the Wood? Mm-mm. Do you know who Morris Chest uh, Morris Chestnut as our actor? Okay, I had to oh, ask yeah. that first because a lot of people don't know. It. I remember my aunties fiending over that nigga. Yeah, and okay, shit. all right, back. all right, okay, all right. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, yeah. That makes sense because those he's for the aunties. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it was a movie where. This nigga was getting married to the love of his life. But come to find out, these niggas made a pact back in the day when they was like all best friends that they were going to like whoever lose their virginity first was going to get who was going to win the bet. And they put a money in like they put money in the pot like every week they go without losing their virginity. So this one nigga was messing with this girl. He ended up really feeling her. He mm-hmm. actually lost his virginity first, but he never told none of his boys. So none of his boys knew. Couple years later, one of his main mans, somebody who invited him to be the best man to his wedding, actually was the first nigga to fuck this girl. Exactly. So what I'm saying is not new. Don't say I'm gonna fuck niggas head up. This shit ain't been in movies for decades. We know bitches and niggas ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Coast, coast, coast. All my niggas, we coasting. Coasting. High grade, we smoking on the highway, we rolling. rolling. Crack a bottle, we toasting. Yeah. Alright, hold on, matter of fact. Welcome Yo, to the Whiskey Podcast, man. Before we go anywhere else, I want you to know this is one of the best fucking podcasts out there. <laughs> I want to introduce this shit before we get into the shits, because we about to get into some shit right now. Man, um, honestly, now that you said your age like that. I'm actually more proud of you, dog, because mm-hmm. of the you. fame and I'm going to say it, you know, the fame, the accolades and everything that you accomplished, my nigga, and just killing the social media game. This shit is for your generation and you are taking full advantage of that shit. You are not Thanks. ashamed to be on camera. You're confident to be on camera and you're going to be who you feel like you need to be on camera. And I have nothing but respect for that. You have a grind that's different from everybody else. And I can tell you really just want to have fun with this shit, just like how we just want to have fun with this. Life is too fucking short to oh be God. serious all the fucking time. So we need God. people like us to entertain you, to make you feel good, to make you realize, hmm, if I'm thinking it, he can say it. And we're going to say what you're fucking thinking. And he's going to make skits that's going to make you be like, hmm, what the fuck did this nigga just say? But you're going to be like, oh, I really wanted to say that last week. So we are just an extension of your inner thoughts. So we have a great personality in here because we, as Weed and Whiskey, only have great fucking personalities, man. Oh, we got 860 Chris in the fucking building. Representing straight me. from CT, making CT look good just like us. Uh-huh. And it's just the fucking beginning. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That was a nice ass intro. Man. Hey yo, hey yo, <laughs> just because you said that, I'm gonna let you know. Like I let everybody else know, he ain't write none of that, bro. He, he just thought about <clears throat> that as he was doing it. Yeah. I would have stuttered like fifty times. No, nope. he never you. does. <laughs> and that's the fucked up part. He stuttered one time because somebody. Yeah. Only time he's ever stuttered. Yeah, I, like me. You gotta ask the question you about to ask. Yeah, what you gonna say? Oh, yeah. Now nah, you me, can't. No, not, I can, I'm gonna not give gonna... you this line one time to say what you gonna say. What you gonna say? <laughs> it's Weed and Whiskey Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. You can sign your shit. No, but I'm one of them people where I wait till you sit in that chair to let the energy speak for itself. We never met. We never shook hands. We never dapped. Never had any type of conversations. How the fuck would I know what to say? I can stalk your Instagram all the fucking time, but how the fuck would I know what to say off your fucking Instagram? How do I know which video is your real personality? So it's like... I'm not going to let that cloud what the fuck I'll say. I just wait till you get here. We vibe. We talk. I take a shot, as I do. Oh, man. And we get it. Oh, yeah. No, he don't drink. So let's take a shot for you. 
Yeah, I got, I got knocked the bottle. I already cracked it because you don't drink, but you can still knock. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. It's gonna take a shot. This is for you, man. <clears throat> this is for greatness. This is for being amazing. Always your new French. You're not toasting with no water because that's bad luck. Real shit? Yeah, yeah, here we go. You can drink that water after we toast. Yeah. This is for friendship. <laughs> this is for good people being great. And this is for always having the best things that we could bring to the world because the world deserves us. Cheers. Cheers. Now you can drink the water. I don't know how y'all drink, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't I don't drink that much. When I was your age, I ain't drink either. Oh, when I was your age, I was getting fucked up, bro. I'm I ain't gonna lie, bro. I hated drinking. <clears throat> My main... My main statement at that time was, I'm a thinking of a drinker. Mm. But I had a best friend at the time. It was like, nah, nigga, you going to drink. <laughs> so she eased me into drinking slowly. And after a while, I started getting into it. But what really crossed it over for me was, I worked at a duty free. So I was around a lot of like whiskey, a lot of liquor. Mm. So I had, I had to sell it. The best way to sell something is to know it. So I learned about it. And I started researching whiskey more. And I realized whiskey is my drink of choice. Because I started like actually finding it outside and drinking. I was like, you know what? I can get with this shit, dog, because I'm not too fucked up off this shit. It's like my grown man drink. So I started getting into it, and then I started buying more expensive whiskey. I'm like, oh, this way it's at? Nigga, I drink this shit like it's juice now. Bro, see, I gave up on it kind of early. I, I, was, I was drinking Henny. Oh, no, nah, that's, like, like, why you like, that's why you're early. like drinking, nigga. I mean, I even, like, nah. but even when I was your age, I was getting fucked up off Henny and Remy and shit like that. I was... I was drinking a lot until like maybe 23. And then I stopped slowly easing my way out of it. I only drink Henny when there's no whiskey. If I'm out socially, I'm a social drinker and a private drinker, which means if I'm out in public, I have to drink. If I'm by myself, I have to drink. You can call me alcoholic. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to still drink. So it doesn't matter what you call me, as long as you call me something, but I'm going to still drink. It is what it is. But if I'm out and you don't have no type of whiskey, I'll settle for Jack Daniels. I'll settle for Jameson if I'm out. Especially if I'm at the bar, because that's the cheapest shit to buy. I'm not going to buy what I like to drink at the bar, because it's overpriced and overexpensive. That's dumb as fuck. Because the drink for one, the price for one drink, it'd be like the cost, half the cost of the bottle outside. Mm. So I'm like, no, that's dumb as hell. And if you don't order ice with your shit, they charge you extra for a double. And it's like, no, suck my dick. Y'all dumb as fuck. Y'all not going to overcharge me for fucking liquor. I'm not going to go to for a club. no ice. Yeah, I'm not going to go to a club and spend $150 for a bottle, my nigga. Niggas spending $150 on a bottle that costs $50 outside. $50 or less, depending on the liquor store you go to. But no. That's how yeah, much bottles cost in the club. Yeah, bro. You ain't know that? Oh, he's 21. Oh, more. He's 20. He's 20. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's 20. Oh, I can't, I can't even go to the club, nigga. Nigga. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Nigga. No, you just can't drink. But yeah, if you in a, if you buy a bottle at the club, the starting price, the cheapest you're getting cheapest, one for is 120 Cheapest you get is $150. No, nah, it's 120 That's the cheapest I've seen a bottle in the club is 120 And that's, that's, some and that's bro. not high, high end liquor. And that's not a great club because you go to a different club. That bottle might be four hundred dollars. Yes. Just because it's a different club, my nigga. You, <laughs> my nigga listen. That should make him my blood bro, boil. You got a here. whole, you got a whole life to live, bro. I'm telling yeah. you, this twenty after twenty one, you start seeing how much shit is, nigga. You go to the club, like you go to certain clubs in like Miami and shit like that. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Nigga, you think you think you getting it for twenty dollars, nigga? They might they might look at you and be like, nigga, five hundred dollars. Nigga, twenty dollars <laughs> is the tip. <laughs> Like no, I'm 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 you think I'm I'm dead serious. Niggas would look at you and be like, yo, five hundred dollars to get in. And Especially if you ain't if paying it, they don't give a fuck. Say Jay Z in that club. Yep. Bro, I'll tell them niggas eat a dick, bro. And I'm turning around. You better yeah. hope they don't actually do it. It's twenty twenty three. What if you tell it a bit? What if you just look at a nigga and be like, nigga, suck my dick and he actually tries to, what you respond? <laughs> I don't I don't even know, bro. I might black out. Nigga said I might black out. You swing it randomly. <laughs> Most definitely, like no, it's no thought behind that swing. I'm automatically swinging on that nigga. Yeah, hit it. What the fuck? Is that okay? All right, now that is that a hate crime? On um, what? Nah, you know, that's sexual assault. Why are you talking to me like you. that? Because I never said. No, I never said he was gay. I just said he tried to suck his dick. A, a nigga tried to suck your dick. He's gay. <laughs> like what? It's, it's twenty twenty three, my nigga. I thought. That's Why not... do you think they have LGBTQ plus Q? 
Whoever, if you and yeah, that, I'm fucking up all the time. Not in disrespect, but it's game. just too much to keep up with. Alphabet yeah, yeah. game. If, yeah. I ain't say that, but if I don't you got no problems with them though. No fact, problem. Once they nah, like facts. cross borders and shit and boundaries, nah, that's I when I fuck with gay people because I get all the bitches that want them that they don't want. Think about that. A lot of niggas don't think about that, bro. You know when I learned that game working at the airport. I was cool. This was like one of the first gay niggas I was like, I'm really cool with my nigga. He was an older nigga. So, like, I know he ain't want me because he was married and shit. So, I, was, I wasn't worried about shit. But he was super cool, my nigga. Like, he'd be telling me how all the flight attendants be coming off the plane and a lot of girls be flirting with him. Because, you know, gay people keep themselves proper, my nigga. Hair all was done. Mm, the suit is I, I, the shirts are ironed. All mm-hmm. of that, my nigga. So, all the flight attendants be flirting with him. And he'd be looking at the gay flight attendants and he'd be like, Oh, they don't even know. So I looked at him and I was like, yo, Danny, yo, whenever you deny these bitches, just send them the next gate over, yo. <laughs> and that's when I learned. That's why when you be around gay girls, my, gay niggas, my nigga, a lot of bitches want them. Regardless of their get, being gay. They be knowing them niggas It's because they be clean as fuck. Yeah, they be knowing, but bitches, bitches want them. But they don't want them. So a nigga like me, what J. Cole said, when she can't get to Michael, she settle for Tito. Bitch, I'm Tito. J. Cole said that? Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorite songs. What's the song? Um, I don't know. I know the song. I know the song. Um, <clears throat> fuck, I know the song. It's one of the bonus songs of um, the Truly Yours. Um, no, Born Sinner Tate. It's the, um, when they can't get to Michael, they settle for Tito. Yeah, that's one of my favorite bars from home. Like, yeah, airport? Huh? Hell yeah, Jacob. Yeah, Hell, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You go with this shit again. Oh my God. Yeah. The older shit though. <laughs> What's your favorite Jacob mixtape? Mm. Damn. You ba- Let me see. What's that you shit? said older shit. What's that shit where it's, um, you kind of like sitting on a bench. Oh, I forgot um, it. Friday night. Like, is that Friday? Nah, Friday? No, no, no. No, he's saying on a bench. Or on the yeah, rooftop. He got on um, that song with Drake. Oh, um, which one? Hit in the morning. Which, hit it in the morning? Yeah. yeah. I don't remember which I one remember that was that on. Song. See, my favorite mixtape was Friday Night Lights. Low key, I ain't really tap in with that one yet. Yo, Friday Night Lights See, is not on no streaming service. You gotta go find that. Yeah, I was you gotta like find seven that. with that when that shit dropped. Did you I ever heard like the Truly Yours EPs? Truly Yours and Truly Yours 2? Before he dropped, um, I think Born Sinner. Before, <laughs> before he dropped Born Sinner. He dropped um Truly Yours EP one and two that like five songs, some of his fire shit, my nigga. I don't some think so. I ain't gonna lie. We got, we got we gonna sit here and listen to some Cole after this, but we're not gonna make this all about fucking Cole, my nigga. We are gonna make this about how fucking young you are. That's what the fuck we gonna talk about, nigga. So wait, hold on. So <laughs> niggas in your generation think it's cool to eat pussy? I feel like y'all mm. grew up in the eating pussy generation. Because it's different. Because because we grew up, when we grew up, niggas, you can't say you ate pussy. Niggas, yeah. was, niggas was on your ass. It's kind of like saying no homo. Jamaica, though. No. But nah. nah it this didn't matter. This is like a society thing, nigga. Eating nah. pussy was taboo. Nah. You young nigga? Yes. Nah. When we were younger, when teenagers, you can't just go around. You had to be one of the most confident and bravest niggas and ahead of your time to go around and confidently say you ate pussy when we were like 16, 17, 18 years old. Shit, bro. I'm brave as hell, then. I always wanted to nah, be No, but it's nigga. a generational. Eating pussy is just a normal ass thing. Yeah. Exactly. Now it's eating ass. That's the crazy thing. But now that's, it's, that's, that's a whole another conversation. You lick the gooch? <laughs> Fuck no. You don't lick the gooch? No. You don't love your bitch. Thank you, Steve. Bro, I'm not. I, I don't bro, understand. No. You don't love your anything bitch. Anything within like close proximity of a booty hole, I'm not, not fiddling with that. You don't get a little risky? No. So how fun is the relationship? Straight coochie, my nigga. Straight I'm not coochie? fucking with nothing else. You don't think she bored of you? I don't know. What you do different all the time that keeps it spontaneous? Bro, I just be hitting them spots, man. It's like, you can't hit... How many times do you hit the same spot? They don't get tired of it. You don't get tired? No. Like, you don't get tired doing the same strokes? No. No. (laughs) Time for speak for this thing right now. No. (laughs) Hell no. Like, you never get tired of nothing. It's still the same. You never thought about what it would be like, what if I went in the pussy this way? Nope. See, do you one of them niggas that explore mountains? I do. Nope, not me. I'm a me. spelunker. I'm not spelunk. my Everest. What's that? That's how niggas die. You never. A spelunker is an explorer. What type of explorer you do though? Eh, it depends on what. I'm 30 now, so my filters has kind of loosened a little bit. What do I eat ass? Nah, I haven't eat ass yet. I have said yet because I don't know what 40 holds for me. <laughs> 
Bro. Nigga, you judge now? I'm not judging. No, 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 no. no. You have the faces now, but I promise you, Bro. when you reach like 30, nigga, you're going to be looking like, I understand why my uncle the way he is now. I promise you, nigga, because you don't understand. When you have certain experiences, it puts you in positions where you understand why niggas are the way they are. It's experiences that change you, bro. I, I just can't, bro. What's the oldest woman you had sex with? What's the biggest age difference with the woman you ever had sex with? Mm, probably about, like, four years. Oh, you ever had sex with an older woman yet? No, nah, I want a MILF. Woman that's nigga, the- it's 2023. A 19-year-old is a MILF. Nah, you talk. No, you talk about <laughs> nah. Somebody that's like, nah, yeah, I fuck, bro. I, I fuck nigga, baby, baby's mom, like baby. It's baby 2023. Mom. Oh, shit, we all fuck somebody's baby but, mom, bro. And I'm talking when I was like younger though, like 18. Like shit, that wasn't really that common for my age range. But fuck that. A milf is like 30, 33 plus. I mean, like I, I said, never had. I never. You never had a cougar. Mm-mm. You gotta have. You never had... I text them, but like I it never went to that stage. Oh, for me. Nah, you can't text a no cougar. You can't bro. text them. Don't call that woman. You gotta call That's that woman. Fact. If she you never got... offer you to make a sandwich after, it ain't real, bro. If mm. she ain't feed you, it ain't real, bro. You gotta go over that house and something cook. And you can spend the night. Yeah, you need an older woman. <laughs> you need an older woman in your life, man. Like, yeah. I promise you, if you get an older woman in your life, your it will change. change. You you would, you would, you're going to listen back to this podcast episode, and you're going to be like, I see what these niggas is talking about. I, An older woman will change your life, my nigga. I promise you. They will make you feel like you're a man that you never imagined yourself to be. It's like, it's like a real man. Yes. <laughs> like a real man. Like, you, you feel like a man. Nigga, you don't like you. I know you're 20. I know you got your whole social media game popping and all, my nigga. But you're nuts in the bus yet, dog. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so help me out. Slide me a move or two or three. I don't get bitches to slide. We get our own bitches. We I can bring your ear. I can put you in position to get your own bitch. Yeah. There we go. I could do that. Hell yeah. I could do that, nigga. When you hang with older people, you come off older eventually. Yeah. You start to gain that. Which means after a while, thing. when you go around older women, they're not going to ask you your age, nigga. They don't care. They want you. Or somebody, somebody like, oh, you look a little young in the face. Nigga, I fucked with women, man, nigga, where I'm close to the same age of their son. Mm-hmm. You yeah. 30? Yes. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy out here, but it's, it changed your life, though. I'm telling you, that. Nigga. it make you think about you something. Look at shit different, nigga. I need that. They be trying to look boy. <laughs> they be trying to look boy me though. Nah, nah nigga, what you, you gotta, gotta do gotta is you gotta play the role. Racing. Nah, play the role. Yeah, I know how to work. Play the role, it, but I'm keeping a buck. I I've, I've been the last. I've been called a baby throughout my whole twenties. I didn't. I still get the baby calls today. Mm. So don't worry about that. You're gonna still be called a baby when you're 25. It's not gonna stop. Cause you're gonna be 25 thinking I'm old enough to fuck with an older woman. Now you're gonna hit your 35, you're gonna start flirting with 35 year olds, 40 year olds. And they're gonna hit you and be like, oh, you're just a baby. That ain't gonna stop. So don't let that deter you. That ain't stopping shit. What you gotta do is you gotta play the role in finesse, my nigga. What I learned nowadays is the best way to get a woman is to not let them know you want them. Oh, hell yeah. Nah, that's facts. As a man, and from what I've been researching, the best way to get a woman in the easiest and quickest way is to not want them. Like when you pay them no mind? Yeah. Yeah, like Or even if you give them, just give them the right attention, not that I want your attention, just that I see you, I fuck with you, and maybe I even respect you type of vibe. Maybe I even respect you. (laughs) (laughs) So you give them that, y'all chill, y'all, you know, you don't smoke or drink, but this is why you need to get into shit too, nigga, like... Get into wine, bro. Wine? Nah, I fuck with wine. Wine and woman? You don't got to do much work. You get a girl, you don't even you get a drink girl that around, much. nigga. You crack a couple glasses of wine, nigga. And make sure you have a good personality. You oh, ha- for sure. You can't drink wine with a woman without a good personality. Or else you're defeating the purpose of wine. Wine only brings out what you already have. You just bring out good conversation. She's sipping throughout the whole time. She giggling. She touch, touching on your legs. You in there. Yeah. Nigga, before you know you in the pum pum, dog. And she didn't even know it, but she just knew she was ready to give you a pum pum. Because <laughs> wine and good conversation is a great mixture. What, great mixture. <clears throat> what what wine do you recommend? I always recommend Merlot or something dry. Sweet wine, you're going to get you too drunk, too quick, 
or if you get you too drunk too quick, they all will. But this one is because it's sweet. You get sleepy. You get a headache. You get the munchies. All these type of shit. So at least with the dry wine, with the munchies, it's not as raven. It's not sweet munchies. You're more calm. You're collected, and it's more of a subtle calm drunk. So and you have to spend a decent money on it if you want to not get as fucked up. To be honest, as well too. It's like twenty five dollars. That's a good bottle of wine. To be honest with you, twenty five dollars, twenty dollars. It ain't like whiskey where you got to spend like a hundred dollars, eighty dollars, sixty dollars for shit like that. You get something nice, Merlot, something dry. Yeah, have a good conversation. Maybe eat some mo- eat some food, have some snacks, something that complements the wine well. Yeah, talk. nothing too heavy. Yeah, nothing too heavy because you don't want her to get her full because she's gonna want to pee throughout the whole time. Yep. Wine makes you pee, so mm-hmm. she's gonna want to pee. So you gotta want to show you do somewhere that y'all can pee. She Stay can away from she heavy pastas and shit like that. All that. <clears> you don't want her to fall asleep after because yeah, if you exactly. keep eating, she's gonna get sleepy. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna, and now you have to be the gentleman at that end. You mm-hmm. don't want to be the gentleman. You're trying to be a, be the nigga between them cheeks. Mm-hmm. So you have Indeed. to be. You have to play, play the balance. Nice appetizers is my go-to. Appetizers. Nice appetizers. You gotta get the real good appetizers. Like what? I just need to keep it what up. I, if you're I, going out, you're good with like chips and dip. Yeah, it's gonna say nachos. Little, little bread, stuff like that. If you're at home, a little tater tot, some some fries, you know, a little hors d'oeuvres, a little something, something a little something make you seem like you're fancy. If you wanna get fancy, uh download the app Tasty and look up some <laughs> appetizers and make them shit yourself. You be nice. Trust me. I don't trust me. You be good. You be good, nigga. Hang with older niggas, bro. The reason we're you winning as men right now, nigga, because we help. We hang with older men, like no homo and no weird shit. But hang with an older generation, in a sense, you start learning things that put you ahead of your time. I also feel like real shit. I feel like that's kind of like where I'm at right. Why I'm where I'm at right now, like mm-hmm. hanging with an older crowd. I feel like. So basically, you, you was able to. I was just a all sponge. the knowledge that you got from that's the best thing you can do nigga you gotta understand when an older when you get older dog after a while your fuck it levels go up more mm-hmm. and you don't know what your fuck it level is gonna be when you reach a certain age my nigga like how easy for you to just be like fuck it that's... I don't want it to be too hot though <laughs> <laughs> what? it depends on what there's certain things just be like fuck when you Cause I could be niggas down for it is, but this is. is one of the this is one of the best and worst parts of getting older when it comes to your fuck it moments. When you experience something that brings you more joy than you needed to, like what? Why do you think niggas and a lot of people are eating ass now? <sighs> you started doing things that bring you more joy than you expected it to, and now you actually enjoy it more than you thought you would. But mm-hmm. what joy is, is there to derive from eating ass? What joy is there a lesbian fucking a woman with a dildo? No, fuck that. What joy is there, girl moaning when she get her dildo suck? Yeah, what joy is that? <laughs> but they still do it. See what I'm saying? It just, that don't even make no she, fucking sense. This shit, she just can't explain, but it's like, it happens. It happens. It's life. It's what people feel. Yeah, this, Whether exactly. It's real or not. And it's all that's mad in us is how people feel. You're part of that generation that made this real, nigga. How I feel. Yeah, you are. <laughs> You're part of the how I feel generation. But this is how I feel. I can go out here and be whatever I want. I feel like this today. No, matter of fact, I don't want to do this tomorrow. I feel like this today now. How do you? How does that make you feel when people <laughs> say shit like that? Because <clears throat> I know that's not the first time you've heard shit like that. That shit pissed me off. I ain't gonna lie. That shit pisses me off. What's something that grinds your gears that somebody around your ear, around your age do? Like little shit that they do that just grinds your gears. Uh... Let me think. I gotta think for this one. It's a lot. <laughs> Damn, you put me on the spot. I'm sure you have peers that just be like, "Nigga, you do that." It just irks your soul a little bit. Like I have people around me where <clears> sometimes <throat> just hearing how they say certain words just grinds my fucking gears. But I'm just petty. Damn, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Matter of fact, I got a better question. All right, go ahead. When when people talk shit about your generation, mm-hmm. what is your response to it? The previous generation talks shit about your generation. So it's just like... Good point. What are we fixing? Good what, is, what is that solving? You talking shit. No, nah, you're right. We haven't fixed shit. And what's the differences in generations that you see? Um... 
I feel like my generation is more like sensitive. Super. Y'all, y'all the thing, sassy ones. Yeah. Nah, y'all the sassy ones. Y'all come from the sassy generations, my nigga. Y'all nah, niggas right, was though. definitely raised by single moms. You're definitely right. But yeah, my generation just sensitive as shit. And they so that's something that grinds your gears. The sensitivity yeah. of these bitches. The agendas, niggas. all that shit. But I feel like that's just... <laughs> <laughs> Can you that, keep up with all the genders? How do you go about the whole gender shit? Are oh, you, I said agenda, but as far as like genders, yeah. How do you go about the whole gender oh, shit? Because I yeah, man, I heard genders too. But how do you go about that? Shit, like, that's an agenda, really, bro. Damn, I gotta watch what the fuck I say. <laughs> um, you ain't gotta go there if you don't want to. Say what makes you feel comfortable, exactly. and I'll probably antagonize it. Yeah, we'll say so, we'll say some shit. I won't I won't comment on gender, cause it barely exists. <laughs> I'll say sex, bro. It's a male and a female, and that's it. What's a woman? No, I can't ask you that. Sorry. I'm sorry, woman. I asked him that. I apologize. Don't cancel me. What's a man? A man? What's a man? A nigga with dick and balls. <laughs> and he's not wrong. He's not wrong. What else is he? That's a male. <laughs> oh, a man? You want me to get in, like, yeah, to... Yeah, um... like, what's a man? Somebody that handle this shit, take care of business, um, carries himself a certain way, mature, um, I feel like those are the biggest things. So a single mom? <laughs> Wait, what? Why, what all your heads? It didn't go over my head. I, I, I see I see what you what, Why you said that? Why did you say that? You just described the traits of a single mom <laughs> You didn't really describe what a man is All the way Because anybody can be those traits <laughs> A single mom holds down everything She has a, She takes care of her responsibility A all single right, so mom a man, is mature. A man is an adult male <laughs> To be to the point, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, that's a man. A dude. man with dick and balls. An adult man. Yeah. With dick and an balls. adult man with dick and balls. That's a man. I was born that way. It's my fault. I ain't even So apparently what I who learned identifies. is people who are born the gender that they still identify or as is called a cisgender. How does that make you feel knowing that you're a cisgender? What the what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, like, when That's when did all this come about? It don't matter. I just learned about this, day, like, a couple of years ago, a bro. A cisgender? A cisgender. You're a nigga who, because you were born a man and decides, you know what? I want to still be a man. Now you're a cisgender. It was your choice. <laughs> yeah, it's your choice. Yo. Today. It's your choice to stay the same. <laughs> Yo. Wait, wait. You're not, you're not trolling me? No. no that's real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if only you Google it. What the hell? That's hey. to be real. I mean, shit. If that's what they came up with. Then <laughs> I guess that's. At me. I guess that's what I am. Fuck this, it. This what? is his generation. He laughed at me for putting him on. I guess that's what I am. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. If somebody called me cisgender, I don't care what y'all say. It makes me feel gay. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is like? Why I need this extra ass label for? Like, what is yeah. this? What is this for? Why I gotta be a cisgender? <laughs> <laughs> cisgender okay. and it make it seem like it's cis like in like S-I-S cis. are these words no, what if that's like subconscious programming though like they try and do that it's feminizing you are these words um in the dictionary probably fleek is in the dictionary is it yes uh, they this... changed the word of fleek actually fleek what if the originally used is that? to mean nigga fuck this shit fleek originally used to mean shit running down somebody's ass for real yes or a donkey animal's ass I thought it was just, like, was thought was was just like on point no, what? they reword it. They rechanged it to that. Shit. Originally, fleek was something that was running down like a horse ass or some shit running down a horse ass. That was something that was fleek. But they rechanged that word. If you actually look it up, the Oxford Dictionary give the girl who re re, re it. It was like came out like 2016, 2014, something like that. Oxford gave her her credit for it. The word got to be defined, just like every other fucking word that we say. Do you feel like your generation come up with some of the dumbest logos? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. My thing every generation does that dumbass. What's shit, the dumbest though? lingo your generation ever came up with? 
The dumbest word, the dumbest slang. I'm still trying to figure out. Um, was it yat? Yat. <laughs> that been. A, th- I mean, it wasn't no, really a word. Me. That wasn't for me. It wasn't really a word, but that had been a thing though. Like niggas, niggas that see your fat ass, they'd be like, God. They wouldn't. No, it wouldn't be a God. word though. Yeah. God damn. But niggas just done made it a word and shit. Yeah. Race. Race? <laughs> nah, Riz. You heard of Riz? Riz? It was oh, Riz. Riz. It's like, it's like Riz. songs, like talking to a girl, like your game That's my, fa- that's my favorite young generation word, Riz. So I basically, like most of my niggas but in they, our generation be like spit Fire, game. though. Yeah, but they ran the Riz. I they ran Riz. into the ground. Like, that's it's, how you it's know, corny. Because I like it, because I'm an old nigga now. I don't know. I feel like Riz is for the sassies. Riz? Nah. Huh. I don't know. I feel like only a sassy or a light skinned nigga got Riz. Riz. I don't say Riz. That's what I'm saying. That's a light skinned nigga thing. I'll just be like, he'll say Riz no more. I never said Riz because I don't At like all? I don't really like hopping on trends like that. Like Riz, they say emotion now. Like so, so as a nigga who make content, you don't hop on trends. I do hop on trends. <laughs> hey, <that's laughs> I do hop on trends, but as far as like your daily personality daily. trends, I don't hop on those. Okay, mm-hmm. what I don't hop on those. So you basically feel like online you have a completely different personality than what you are in person. Like if people meet you in person, they're like, oh shit, you not who you are in the videos. No, nah, I get that actually. In person, I'm more like kinda I kinda have an on and off switch. I'm like reserved. Like now I'm I'm kinda like reserved. I could okay. be like energetic, I could like wild out, but I have an on and off switch, but when I'm on the internet, it's more like kinda like sarcastic. Type of I always bust jokes like twenty four seven. I feel like that's the vibes I give off. But I do, but people might not see that in person. Okay. Like I'll I'll be in my like calm mode. So you can everything we say, right? That mm-hmm. is off key, mm-hmm. or you know, not for the commercial use. Uh, you could have a comeback for it, but you just choose not to. What you mean? You can go wherever the fuck we going with this shit, as in all the crazy ass shit this nigga done said already. Oh yeah, I'm with whatever. Yeah, but you just choose <laughs> with not whatever. To. All right, saying no oh names, right? Oh my god, this nigga did. Say no names, right? How do you feel about my man who be talking shit about CT in his videos? Who? I'm trying not to say no names. His Instagram handle start with a J. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, if it's who you think, or who I think you talking about, I think we on the same page. I mean, I don't really think he talks shit. <laughs> you think he just take like... advantage of the fact that people talk shit of CT and he markets that? I talk shit too. But I don't... <laughs> y'all different version of talking shit is different. Like, you... Like, like y'all doing the basketball video with Jugger and shit like that. To me, like, that's not really talking shit. Or if you talk about, like... I feel like he sometimes put down what CT is and capitalize off it. For somebody who's coming from like an older generation, it's like you're capitalizing off the negativity that's already being put out about We grew up as as kids. Those are stuff that we as, like Jugga could tell you. Mm-hmm. Like the, the stuff the basketball game, my nigga. Like y'all talking shit at the fucking basketball court to each other. Like that's how we grew up, my nigga. It was just literally just having fun. When you say negativity about CT, what you mean though? Because I talk about like everything, the positive, All right, so negative. Let me reword it, but when I do it, I do it to like shine light, right, kind of so like make fun it. of. That's it. what he meant. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> do you feel like talking shit about CT can still shine light to it in a positive way? Yeah. Cause I mean, when I do it, it's in good fun. I'm not really like, I'm not actually talking shit, and meaning in like a derogative way. Cause people in the comments laughing, feel me? Like it's all in good fun. Mm-hmm. So, I don't really see no problem with that because I done ran up millions, thousands of views off that shit and CT's getting... It's having more of a light shit on it now because of that. Because of that? It's been, yeah. So do you feel like jokes kind of solidify and put things on the map more? Definitely. Most definitely. I can agree with that because jokes can be more universal because you could apply a joke for CT... And it can kind of fit somewhere else. So people will relate to it more or less than some type of other forms of content. Facts. And just so anybody's listening, I only worded the question that I worded for content purposes. I actually fuck with home with what he's doing. I appreciate everybody who's actually putting CT onto the map. Just because he's saying some things, and regardless if you want to say it's negative, a lot of things that be said be the fucking truth. Who is it? <clears throat> it is what it is. Since you shout him out now. I think it's Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. 
Yeah, I fuck, I fuck yeah. with what he do. He putting on. Yeah, he's definitely putting on. Like I said, there's a lot of younger oh, generation out there, my nigga. That's, they're basically making use of what's available to them. And ca- like, I don't think he capitalized negativity all the way. Like I, said, I just put things for like content purposes. But sometimes, sometimes you have to put things for what it is. You only know CT for two things. Greenwich or Hartford. Exactly. And the people from CT, they talk about it in a negative way too. Uh, so so I'm saying. Well. So are you going to be mad because somebody has a certain amount of following and the amount of people are seeing it and they're saying the things that you say in private? You can't be mad at that. The only difference though, just don't like spread misinformation. That's the difference. Yeah, that's the You can't that's the be line. misinforming everybody else who have not been to CT. Exactly. Like everything you say, regardless of how anybody want to see, they can't be like, oh, this nigga be capping, this nigga be lying. They, can, they should never be able to say that. Yeah. And that's why people might not co-sign that. But why is it okay for CT to talk shit about CT and get mad when niggas with certain public audience do it? Because uh, it's like it's like somebody talking shit about somebody in your family. Yeah, like only you, I, I can talk, I shit, can talk shit about my cousin, nigga. You can't talk shit about my cousin. Who you Fuck talking you. about, Joe Rogan? No, I'm just talking about in general. Oh, a lot we, of celebrity shit on. Yeah, CT. like we all he like, be talking a lot of celebrity crazy. Shit. Yeah, Stacey yeah, Powell. Joe Rogan hates CT. Yeah, he be Stacey talking Powell hot. Hates CT. I think Fat Joe hates CT because he almost got jumped out here. A lot of people got nah, some. Somebody beef out from CT must have fucked Joe Rogan's wife. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Joe Rogan, Rogan really hates CT. Bro. Every chance he get, I, I know Dave he, hate out here because he got booed out here. Who they should Yeah, he got yeah, but some college. But Why? By college white boys. By like college oh. white boys, bro. Yeah, okay. it's expected. They don't understand the genius of Dave Chappelle. And I or they just one used of the to. Goats. They just used to uh, the Chappelle show, so they just trying to be exactly. funny. Exactly. All right, question for you: What is the funniest skit you've made to this day? Mm, to that's your a good opinion. One. Uh, probably like CT or like In general. You're a content creator. Don't limit your content to one thing. I got a lot. I'm trying. The first one that came to my mind was I did one with Scoob and Chosen too. Uh, CT niggas thoughts. Mm-hmm. That shit. Oh yeah, I, I did see that. Yes! I, 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 I was hilarious. like, hilarious. I was like, this shit. I think those are the first skits that really came. I came across with you as money on TikTok. Mm-hmm. That's when it was blowing up. Yeah, those was funny as hell. And when were, I posted that, I knew that shit was gonna do numbers. Like that shit. Like when it make me laugh while I'm editing, I know that shit. That's how you know you got one yeah. on your hands. Hell yeah. But non CT related. Um. Hmm. I think it might have been one I did recently. It the was grandma like, one? Huh? The grandma one? Grandma? Girl. Nah, I don't really <laughs> consider that a skit. That was funny as hell, too, though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No. He made a skit where he, start, he started basically screaming at the fact that he just had sex with a girl who stayed with her grandma, and now he got an STD. Yeah, <laughs> with the plankton voice. But, with the plankton voice. <laughs> um, I'd probably say... <laughs> Like how niggas be when girls come around, like they be turning into Bill Gates. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like, bro, I don't rack. I let that shit fall out of my pocket in front of the girl. I was like, <laughs> that that shit was funny. I like that one too. I feel like I'm missing one. Like there's one that's not coming to mind. Yeah. Basically, they just gotta follow you on TikTok as well to an Instagram to figure out some of the funny shit and just scroll through. Is there any skit you had that you didn't think was gonna hit what it did? Probably the the life as a guy. I don't know if y'all seen those. I don't know if I seen that one. I gotta go check that one out. But in in, in those vids, I do like shit, like regular shit that society would say is like gay, especially females. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. they was in the banana. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. bonnet. <laughs> yeah, nigga, they was in the comments talking about. I don't know if you're gay, just saying all this extra shit. Like, my nigga, y'all missing the, the point. Comments? Do you read the comments on your viral videos? Hell yeah. Like. I read a is lot it of a comments. lot of negative negativity or is it a lot of positive? Most of it's both. Negative. So niggas are a lot like any chance they get, they talking shit. Hell How yeah. do you respond to that? Like I it don't doesn't respond. deter you. Hell nah. Okay. That bro, that's what come with this shit. I know. I that... know people. Everybody not the same. Not everybody has the same sense of humor. So feel me. I just I just like ignore it. I will read it. I will acknowledge it. Not even acknowledge it, but I will read it and just and like just move on. Yeah, like I'll just move on. With okay. My day. 
because not a lot of people have the skin to be able to read the negativity that's put out towards them and be like, understand they got a public figure now. Bro, I've always been the type of negative bust jokes, and I've always been able to take them back, so I'm not new to this shit. You got to be able to take the own medicine you give. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. But they, in those videos, I ain't gonna lie, that shit kind of like, it ruined a joke, and that's what kind of got me mad a little oh, bit. I hate personal. when they ruin a joke. Yeah, they took that's the only thing that would get me mad when I read comments. Because, bro, gay people, they take a lot of things personal when that wasn't even what I was getting at. You yeah. feel me? Like, nigga. Because you can't be a heterosexual man now without everybody. Exactly. Yeah, That's it's what hard. I was saying, bro. It's hard. It was like a whole list of shit that niggas can't do that girls that say you're sassy. It's a lot. The I list seen, keep getting longer. Nigga, bro, I see one where it was like, you can't even drink out a pineapple. Or you're sassy you or can't gay. You got up a straw. You're sassy. That's that's when was, that, that was when I did, <laughs> and it was like, oh, you're insecure. If you don't break the banana, you if you don't break about? the banana, you're sassy. Yeah, like <laughs> what the fuck, nigga? can't live normal life, nigga. <laughs> that's what I'm if saying. If you block a girl who's stressing you out, you sassy. That's <laughs> I, and I still do that. I do all those things you're unapologetically, sassy, nigga. nigga. <laughs> I don't eat glizzies though. I ain't gonna lie, I don't eat glizzies. Cause no, who knows what the fuck's in it. Exactly, that's the reason Everything. why though. Before, because I, I changed my diet, but before that, I'll eat glizzies like unapologetically. What made nigga. you change your diet? Um, It was a situation with my mom when she got sick. And then at that point, I started learning more about food. So okay. I was just like, all right, I see what's really going on here with like food. And you feel me? You educated yourself. Yeah. Better you than me, because I changed my diet for a whole completely different reason. Why, what happened? I just wanted bitches to swallow my nut. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean What you mean Change your diet though What you do What you do differently I'm pescatarian though Okay Like I only eat seafood And I don't eat White meat or red meat Chicken is hard to stay away from though Cause we black Hell yeah <laughs> That shit fried been hard chicken. I'm not gonna hold Yo, you Yo especially deep fried chicken Yo that's my weakness right there That shit been hard Last time I had chicken was like I think April I'm Trying to make trying to, Are you trying to cut like Meat out completely Mm, honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be able to stay away from chicken the rest of my Yo, life. I, that's but the only thing I love, and oxtail. I'll do it. I'll do it in moderation. Every once in a while. Yeah, like once in a blue moon type shit. But yeah, when you, what you said about nut though, that shit real. Like I started drinking smoothies and shit. Nigga, yes. They said they said my shit sweet. I'm yes. like, what? my shit tastes good. Yes. I'm like, damn. You know what? You have a good pH balance. That's what oh, it yeah. is. Like you ever like you ever ate a girl pussy and be like, you know what? I can just keep going. You know, you're not bitter. Most of the time. Hopefully most of the I time. I hope so. Most of the time. That's what we go for. We're not gonna go for all the time because we know a lot of girls don't always have the best diets, but they just be pretty as fuck. Mm -hmm. But whenever you taste a girl, nigga, and she tastes like water, tasteless, yeah man, doc. She mm -hmm. got a good diet. Yeah man. And I'm trying to make her my diet. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's how it be, my nigga. Would you ever? You oh my god. Nah, go ahead. Nah, go ahead. Nah, go to say. I was about to be like, <laughs> you ever had tangy pussy? It's like bitter mm -hmm. pussy, yeah. Not never in my day of my life. I did. I ain't never had no tangy pussy. You know how you know it's that like is insane. it's kind of like this. it's kind of like <laughs> that when you, wild. It's, it's kind of like when you kiss on a girl that just put on cologne on her neck and you kiss on her neck. It's horrible. Oh, you nah, never, you never just, taste that like, sounds. You awful. never taste a girl when her vagina just tastes like pennies. No, Whoa. not never. Nah, that's crazy. That's Tang crazy. But you said tangy pussy. Yeah, it's it, it just like leave a taste in your mouth where you oh just like. My nah, listen, listen. Right? Wash it? No, 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 no. Oh it just God. it just make you go like this, like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I never had you had that shit. Sour plum. <laughs> sour, sour plum. plum. <laughs> It wasn't really sour. It was just like a. Nigga, if you gotta smack your lips like that, that nah, shit had a it was just kick like. To it. Yeah, it just had a little kick. Oh no, <laughs> not the gravel pussy. Yeah, it was just not the gravel pussy. No, oh no. It was nothing that made me want to like so stop, cute. but it was just like what? something, something strange. This makes you wonder real quick. Yeah, like, like this shit. This kind like, of. We, some, we eat some different food. Like I like this, but what's that? Yeah, <laughs> like what's that in there? What oh, you yeah. put in there? Yeah. Shit. I can taste something. It's like mm, is that it's cinnamon. Coming, it's coming through a little bit. That shit threw know. me for a loop, and it was like, it was a little salty. He's like, let me take a little lick and see if it's. I the like worst it. part about it is I could like, you probably have a smell after. It's like ah. It's like mm, lingering smell in your face. The taste was lingering, like the after. It's terrible. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. A lingering smell. Yeah. <laughs> just smelling pussy. Just. <laughs> <laughs>
Hang you pussy all day. Yo, what made y'all want to start the podcast? Because I'm that nigga. Oh, right. Right. 100% agree. Because I needed to show people that I was that nigga, so I was like, fuck it. Nah, that's why podcast. I started making content and shit. <laughs> nah, but seriously, um, so I was video. I did a lot of like creative shit before this. Um, when I was doing my little bit of college, I, I was in like the media game and shit like that. So mm-hmm. I was always been in the media field in some form. I tried doing my own on spot videos. Like I tried doing a whole bunch of shit. I did poetry, all of that shit. And then life happened. I met this nigga. Mm. The nigga we were cool with, he falls asleep a lot. So <laughs> we had no choice but to be cool with each other. So we got cool and I realized, nigga, we actually cool with each other. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? So we actually got exchanged numbers. Automatically. Yeah, huh? Got you automatically? Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. We just exchanged numbers. We actually started chilling without the third party. So we realized, shit, we got a vibe. So we started hanging around. We started hanging with ourselves more and then we started hanging around our friends with each other more. And we realized... Nigga, we have a good like, like bond together. Conversation, yeah, bond. We, yeah, yeah, we yeah, we had was... a good bond. So, one Y'all day we broadcast my... it, huh? Y'all want to broadcast yeah, it? Yeah, one day we were sitting in the car. One day and he was like, "Yo, nigga, I want to do more, yo." Yeah, but he, we just couldn't think of what. But I did so much. I was the one, like, honestly, I'm the one he always kind of looked for for creative like direction mm-hmm. of where to go. Cause for him, he always wanted to do something creative. I'm speaking for you right now, but nah, I tell he... you this. I tell you this. You're right because. The only other people I hung around was rappers and producers mm-hmm. and video niggas. Like, but he did everything else. Like he, like he said, he did poetry. He was doing fucking videography, but he was also doing like behind the scenes shit. Like he was doing everything else and he had ideas. And the only other person that I've ever, cause I've always wanted to do shit. Mm-hmm. I just, every time I pitch this to somebody, they'd be like, yeah, we can do that shit. And we would never get into it. What I said to him though. Yeah, I'm not that nigga. You tell me you want to do something, bro? He's like, nigga, all right, let's do it. I'm the same way. way, Blah, blah, blah. Nigga, we set it up. Nigga, we was in the car. His car, his, um... What car you had at the My time? Ford Focus. The fo- yeah, we had the, you had the Focus at the yeah. time. Yeah. And nigga, I'm like, nigga, set up the camera and that shit, and we just sat there and talked. And that was the first episode. And then I literally extract the audio and post it on Anchor. That was it. That was the start of it. That was the inception. And ever since then... Because that's why we preach. You don't know how good you are at something until you start. Mm-hmm. You don't know mm. what obstacle is going to hold you back until you start. Mm. You don't know nothing until you start. Everything is preconceived notation. Everything is your own mind. Every obstacle you put before you start is you. So if you don't start, it's because of you. Mm-hmm. It's not what you think that's going to hold you back. It's you. It's you. Yo, another thing I hate <clears throat> pertaining to that. Like when people would say they, they they have a goal, mm-hmm. but they just being realistic about it. Like uh, nigga, real, realistic. Nah, we are delusional motherfuckers. Exactly. Realism you gotta kills goals. We Fuck are that. delusional. You gotta be delusional. That's, That's why that. we make the sacrifices that we make because we are delusional about our dreams. Especially, <laughs> especially around here, you gotta be delusional. Oh yeah, bro. Nobody, nobody doing How nothing. How many niggas from CT that you can look up to or can reach out to? Him like, yeah, nigga, I made it. This is what I did. Mm-hmm. You don't have that resource from here. Like, yeah, this this is the advice that I give you. We don't have any mentors when it comes to this content shit, bro. We are our own mentors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, if you're doing something, you got to put your whole, both your feet forth, bro. You now can't you just, like, half ass it. Your feet is not enough. You got to put your heart in it, too. Everything. You got to put your soul in it, too. Your mind Everything. In it. You got to put your tears in it, too. Everything. Everything. You got to cry sweat. about this shit. Hell yeah. The shit you never thought you would cry about, you got to cry about it. It got to break your heart when certain things don't go your way. It got to break, break you. your heart. Yes. It got to break you. It got to make you never want to feel that feeling ever again. That's how you know you want this shit. No matter what you get in return, my nigga, you know how you want this shit when certain things don't go the way it's supposed to. And you know when things are supposed to go the way it's supposed to. Things fall apart, yes. Everything don't fall apart. Some things fall apart because of you. Not because it's supposed to fall apart. So when those things that fall apart because of you, you know when. You don't right. want that feeling. And when again. you fail or flop and still get right back to it. Yeah, that's the best feeling. Failing and not quitting. That should motivate me, bro. Man. I ain't gonna lie. Like seeing a video I like flop. Failing now. It was videos I seen or videos that I made that I felt like was gonna go crazy. And it just hit you right in the nuts. I was just like, damn. What did I do wrong? Damn, back to square one. Yes. Fuck it. 
Back to square one. I, right nigga, back to I don't it. know why I love failing more than the success now, bro. No, nah, I don't know about that. Nah, the success. <laughs> <laughs> so nah, I see what I'm, you, I know I'm what you're explaining about. my theory, bro. Like, y'all might look at me different, but I explain my theory. But no matter where I'm at in life, I'm all about growing. I want to be a better me. I don't care if the podcast takes off because tomorrow is not promised. The only thing I can make of today is making sure that I'm a better me for tomorrow just in case it do come. So that's why I prioritize growth before success because my success is growth on some real shit. Like me being 30, like I said, your fuck it levels go off on so many different levels when you get 30 money. You're like, like I lost my mom, I lost my grandmother in a two week span. Like mm. I'm building relationships with people I never had relationships with. I'm losing relationships with the people I never thought I would ever lose a relationship with. So it's like you go through so much where it's like, yo, the unimaginable is imaginable now. You gotta start thinking about it. You gotta just start living life for just like, fuck it, bro. Tomorrow really ain't promised because it be the motherfuckers you say I love you to to today that you don't get to to say to tomorrow, bro. And it's some real shit. And you don't realize how much of a reality it becomes until you get older. When you're 20, you're invincible. <clears throat> Stay that way. If you don't feel invincible when you're 20, my nigga, you're not doing it right. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Argue with me. That's a fact. Argue with me. If you're 20, 21, 22, 23, if you're under 25 and 25 under and you don't feel invincible, you're not doing it right. Yeah, you ain't really having fun. You're not having fun. Because, nigga, I was reckless and I said, fuck it, nigga. I'm making it to tomorrow, so fuck it. That's the age you're supposed to feel like you can do <laughs> anything. Have you ever woke up and feel like there's something you can't accomplish? I don't gonna lie, yeah. I ain't gonna like lie. Like what? Uh, let me think. Like, what's one of the recent thoughts you woke up with and be like, damn, I don't know if I'm gonna get there. <clears throat> um, I set a goal for myself for this week. I was trying to make like at least four skits. But what? But. I ain't get to it. Loki, right. that shouldn't even apply, matter of fact. That's something that shit like that don't matter, bro. That's just that's just quanti qu quantity goals. Like are you yeah. worried about yourself? Yeah. Like, are you like like things like waking up every day and like fuck I'm gonna be a fucked up. I'm gonna be a fuck up. Or you just be like, I'm about to accomplish this. Like you're if like you want something out of the world and feel like See, you can't I get got it. I got anxiety, but like even like still having that, I still feel like it's nothing that I can't do exactly. if I put my mind to it. Like but everybody nigga, has, once you has get their doubts. Older, your doubts heightens. Yeah. Oh yeah. You have more you doubt. Accomplish. Start to get to you sometimes. Like you be like, oh fuck, I could have did this. I could have did that. I hate for that <clears throat> shit to happen to me. Yo, honestly, bro, don't let it happen to you. I can't. Don't let it, it happen won't. to you. That's I can't let thing. that shit happen. Don't let it happen. So wake up every day and be like, y'all could do this shit. I ain't That's why I'm no doubts. Posting every day now. I, yeah, yeah. One of my boys had said to me, he was like, he rap. He was like, oh, because I wanted him to like consistently drop music like every day, music videos, all that. He like, bro, don't worry, we got time. I'm like, nigga, no, we don't. Right now is the perfect time to do yes. all that shit. Yes. Mm -hmm. And especially yes. in rap. Yes. Especially like in that. rap, you got to put on a fucking. I don't care what you're doing. There's it, no perfect time than now. Exactly. It don't got to be perfect. It just got to be now. Yeah, you're going to hear this a lot. you young. You're going to hear it for a little while. Till you reach close to 30. Till you reach to that age where niggas like, oh, yo, you getting up there now. Yeah, but you young. <laughs> Don't let that get to your head. Think like you're not young. No, no, he got a perfect mindset, though. He already On said some that. real shit. Like, this is my advice. Think like you're not young. Because when you feel like you're young, you feel like you have all the time in the world. You know what that mm -hmm. happens when you think like that, nigga? Time catch up. And you be like, damn, where did time go? Nigga, think like you not young. Especially when you have nothing to lose. Pretend you do. Really, bro? If I been had this mindset, I feel like... You'd have I been could've... somewhere. But, but, How do you think but, we feel being 30-year-olds with a podcast with three years? I'm about years? to say, bro, you are, <laughs> 10 years, you are 10 years younger than me sitting here right now, right? Talking to me. With a bigger following with than us. With a bigger following than us. Still. Yo, you, but, but the point is... You gotta, you gotta keep that mindset going. Yo, I don't want to be, I don't want to be these niggas' ages and still trying to get 
to for me. We still grinding. I'm never gonna shit on us because nigga, we doing yeah. our shit. And I never shit on Fuck anybody that. who's grinding, but Fact we know that. how to give flowers to people who's at Fact. the levels that you're at. Exactly. I'm not afraid to shame, nigga. If I was your age at your time, if I had the knowledge I had right now at your age, I'd be doing something different. But I'm not. You see what I'm saying? If but I started, you are. Fact. If I started this at the same age you are right now, it would have dead. It would have been dead. Or something else. Or nah, would have blew up. Or real, something when else I was out. 20, 21, I had no level of commitment. Oh, yeah. That is true. I didn't know what commitment was. You probably don't know what commitment is yet. But nah, you're I struggle living with that. It. But you're living it. We don't understand things. How many relationships have you been in? Honestly, I only had one real girlfriend. Okay. Right. I can't. And good. she even you know, be my mom, it. bro. Like I'm she real. Really real then? I was about to say that. That's how long was that? She ain't meet the moms. She ain't meet your mom, bro. If mom I can't mean, reminisce on why you live. She technically met her once, but it was like around two years. Two years. That's pretty. Yeah, because I'm she real. Meet she ain't meet the moms. My mom knew about her, like feel me, but it but you was. Didn't want to meet the moms. Bro, I'm what real. What was worried about? Nah, I'm just real strict with like who yeah. I bring around my family. Two years and never meet the moms. I was kind of young though. I was like. Were you worried about them judging 17. you? Huh? Were you worried about them judging you? But hell no, because she wasn't ugly. Man. So what Crazy. was the problem? I'm just. Nobody it's said just anything me, about being. Ju- That's what I'm saying. You are superficial and shallow he as said, fuck. He said. <laughs> hey, Ain't nobody said anything about her physical looks about why you're being judged. Maybe she's just being judged because she's just a dumbass. Maybe bitch. she was dumb. Yeah, maybe she was stupid. <laughs> I don't know. When you that's again when you get older, nigga. At a certain point, you gotta appreciate personality, to my nigga. Because these pretty ass bitches don't got it. They be dumb as fuck. They don't Bro, got it. The reality show about? bitches can't read a script. Mm-hmm. That's one thing about this generation that bug me. They be having nothing up here, bro. Yes, but nothing they got a lot all. down there. I take what's down oh. there as long as you don't try to give me what's up listen, there. Listen, listen. What you bring to the table? Pussy. The scoochie. That's it. What else you bring to the table? Head. Crickets. Stress. They don't have no goals, no head on their shoulders, none of that. Nothing. Can't support you emotionally. At least have good credit. I'm be honest with you. <laughs> I'm be honest with you. If you're looking at women, that goes back to the older women. If you're looking at women your age for that, you ain't gonna find it for a little while. I'm be honest with you, and it's rare if you do. Bro, fuck as much pussy as you can. That is the most man, because man, and most misogynist, nobody. misogynistic advice I can give you at this age, right? I'm gonna fuck keep it a as butt. much pussy as you can, protectively and safely, bro. I'm gonna keep it a butt. I can't, I can't, I can't just be out here fucking like that. Yeah, I never said that, but if you have an opportunity just to experience some shit, nigga, do it now. Do it now. Do it now, my nigga. You don't want to be thirty in the same opportunity you was when you was twenty two. That mistake is going to hit you more at 30 than it was when you were 22. Well, it depends on what it is. Nah, my nigga. If there's certain things you just be like, you know what? I just want to know what it feels like. Do it now. Now is your time. Now is your time to make the dumbest F mistakes, bro. I understand. I get that you want to be mature. I get it. I understand it. And I respect it. And I love it. You have a lot of time. As long as you continue living right and everything going right for you, bro, you have a lot of time to be mature. This is your era to be dumb. This is your era to be dumb, bro. Enjoy it. I'm a, I'm gonna disagree. I felt like I already did that. Like I already done fuck hoes, all this shit. I hear you. I hear you. Mm-hmm. And I felt the same way at that age. I felt the same way. I thought I had the world figured out. Until you got older, you was like, oh, you don't this know is nothing like- until you experience certain shit, bro. I'm just just this is one of those. Just believe me when I say this. This I'm is literally one of those, bro. Like, I did. I believe that when I was like, that's why we tell you if you don't feel like you're invincible at this age, you're not doing it right. That's true, why yeah. we tell you that because you're supposed to feel like you can do anything and nothing's gonna happen to you. But most importantly, your... you gotta go do it. Yes, yeah, this is your dumb era, my nigga. Get your what ifs out the way. Get your I wonder what it would feel like if I did. Th-. Get it out the way, bro. I'm not saying go get a bitch pregnant, go fuck bitches raw and all. I'm not saying none of that. <laughs> but if the case leads to it sometimes and you feel comfortable with that bitch, do it. Don't do it at everybody, boy, but you have an opportunity to experience that with somebody, bro, do it. I don't know, my nigga. Like I said, my nigga, 
And I'm also one of them people who lost a cousin at the age of 25 while he was sleeping. Perfect health. Mm. That's why I preach tomorrow is never promised. So live today like tomorrow isn't regardless. And live today like tomorrow isn't promised, but prepare as if it is. No, I agree with you. I'm going to just make like calculated decisions. About balance. Exactly. Life is all about seeds and balance. You have to have a balance between good and bad and everything of counter opposites. And plant and you your seeds, to, get women pregnant. That too. Live life, and buddy. And also by seeds mean that what you plant today, Shoot up a club. you're never going to feed you tomorrow. And have babies. So don't expect success for the things you put out today, bro. Seeds and balance. Don't pull out. That's life. That's don't game right out. there. Don't pull That's out. That's game, nigga. Bro, shit, nigga. Oh, seeds me. and balance, my nigga. If I can give anybody around your age or younger, nigga, one <laughs> advice, seeds and balance. No matter what you do, if it's meant to have longevity, if it's supposed to have value, it's supposed to have purpose, intention, you're not going to get fruitions of it tomorrow. Maybe not next week. Maybe not, not at the end of the year. But if you have confidence in it, you, have, you know the value in it, and you don't give up on it, it will blossom. Yeah, meet as much people as you can. It will blossom. Talk to as much strangers as you can. Mm-hmm. Meet new people. Real shit, nigga. Fifty said you only go Struggle as far. With that. You only go as far as the person you're willing to talk to. The str- you only go as far as the stranger you're willing to talk to. You don't know who have anything for you until you're willing to open up that that's, door to talk to. That's them. facts. But you also have to balance and prepare yourself that you're gonna run into bullshit, and exactly. want to decipher that. Exactly. You with the nail on the head, nigga. nigga. You got the world in your hands right now, my nigga. On some real shit, like niggas our age wish we had what you had. Why do you think we're going so hard with the things we do? We're trying to recreate a life that we feel like we missed out on. But we also have to balance with the same thought that we're on the same path that we're supposed to be. I'm going to be honest with you. At this age now, I don't I don't want to recreate because I feel like at that age, if I would have had a certain amount of, whether it be money, fame, or whatever, I would have handled it very irresponsibly. I'd have been here. I would have been in the same place. Yeah, I would have been. I would. Yeah, I probably try to rebuild my shit. I would have been in the same place, my nigga. The way I was going about shit was terrible. So, at this age, if you're smart enough to know what to do, you just go about it that way. And by the time you my age, nigga, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You experiencing this shit. You're going to be set, not just financially, not just materialistically mentally. or physically. You're going to be set mentally and emotionally, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I'm telling you. Like, when go was the last the time you, you cried? Probably, like, four months ago. It's too long. Too long. No, I can't say too long. No, nah, that's too long, bro. I did that pants. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been through a lot now. Like, there's times I yeah, just... Yeah, I'm like kind of numb to, to not, certain nigga, shit. Honestly, bro, ever since I lost my mom, I yeah, cried Yeah, that's what I'm regularly. talking about. That's I the guess, last time I, I guess, cried. I guess I get what you're yeah, saying. Oh, you going to start crying more no, too, I bitch? I, I guess I do. <laughs> I guess now... Four months is too long. I get it. Yeah, I get to the point. I, sometimes, randomly, it happens. Four months is too even, long. I don't even know when. I don't care, my nigga. Now that I'm older as a man, bro, this is weird. cry. Don't cry in front of bitches. Never cry in front of a bitch. So she gonna use that shit. She Never cry you. in front of a bitch. <laughs> she like, you remember your little bitch ass crying in front of me, you little pussy ass nigga. Yeah, Yo, I did that one time. I was so oh, mad. You a dumb ass nigga. I was so. This way, I need... couldn't help it. It just, it just <laughs> came out. Bro. I couldn't help it. I was like, Fuck. she held that shit against you forever. She would never. She'd bring it back she'll, up. She'll forget everything else, but that time you cried in front of her. She never brought it up, but she never forgot. She she probably did it like. She probably said it, but like in a, she didn't say it directly, yeah, like yeah, indirectly. Yeah. yeah, but you knew what she was referring to. Yeah, exactly. Don't cry in front of a bitch unless you really love her, my nigga. That's the only time you can make that mistake if you really love her. That shit pissed me off. <laughs> I went, I went home. I was That's like, the how the fuck response. I let that shit happen? That's the perfect response. <laughs> oh, this was your, this wasn't even your girl, huh? 
The pussy nah. was just good. Damn. I, mean, the pussy I, I was, was like, good. I was like talking to her. It was de- yeah, it's dealing. okay, bro. Now, now that I know you're going through the motions because you're supposed to run into pussy that makes you do things you're not supposed to do. It's all part of the experience. Oh yeah, it's you are. It's all <laughs> part of the experience. I'm serious, nigga. That's why I don't date girls I don't fuck. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna date you if we never had sex. I don't believe in that shit. Fuck, I look like buying. <laughs> fuck, I look like buying a car without driving it. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait 90 days to f- to date you, and then then when we date and we fucking that shit trash, and we don't have great sex <laughs> compatibility. No. All right, what does she feel? Every category though. I don't but care. The sex if just sex not there. No. no, no, bro. What do you say? Imagine to that? being in love for your whole life <laughs> and having trash sex for your whole life, bro. But real love is rare though. Okay, real love know how to learn to fuck you good. You could teach her though. No, nah, not nah, every girl is teachable. If she a wife, she got to be teachable. <laughs> she got to be able to listen. If she a wife, then she know how to fuck already. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm 30 years old. I'm not at the point where I should be teaching a girl how to fuck. <laughs> That's facts. That's that facts. Is not my place. <laughs> That's facts. You should come experienced. You should come fucked. How many bodies is too too many bodies? Or I don't ask your bodies age. because don't everybody do everybody's too don't many do bodies. Don't do I don't that. ask. Don't do, that. <laughs> do not. Do not, not, not because you know this is why I don't ask. I'm not young because I don't yes. want to find out about things that you did with somebody yes. that you haven't nah, done. Nah, I gotta know. Nah, nah don't nigga, do it. Nigga, you know how yourself, insecure bro. that shit makes you. Yo, it's gonna fuck you up before you even get. You know how insecure that she is. You look. All right, let's talk about love. You love this bitch, right? And now you found out she sucked she sucked somebody's dick in a way that you always want your dick sucked, but she don't do it to you because she don't do it no more. <laughs> How do you feel about that, nigga? You love her. <laughs> that should hurt. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Nigga. That should hurt. So don't, 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 do don't, do don't do it to yourself. Don't no, do it to yourself. But I gotta know. No, no you, you do not. My nigga, nigga do not. Then one you, fundamental rule. No, 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 bro. So no, no, nigga, no. no. Let me if, ask you a question. If it matters, she'll tell you. If it don't, don't bring it up. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you this. Right, you move out of state and you meet a woman from that state. You don't know nobody there. How the fuck you gonna know about her past? She can lie to you everything that she tells you. You have to treat this. I'm telling you, Trust save your, your ego. Trust your energy. Save your ego and save all of that shit because you are gonna get hurt trying to fuck around and find a wild. You ever heard this? Fast. You ever heard? I'd rather story? be hurt than not. No, nah, nah. no, oh. you don't. No, you don't, nigga. Yes, that's do. a young nigga statement, bro. Nigga, no, if you, you get you ever heard this? If you get it cheated on, you don't nah, want no. No, that's a different. No, I that's know. A different story. What? No, I Matter don't. Fact, yeah, don't tell Yo, me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm gonna tell you this, bro. Do you know how many? This is when it became a reality to me. I'm not even trying to be funny no more, money. This is when it became a reality to me. Cause I told you how I became cool with one of the first gay niggas at the airport. Mm-hmm. He opened my eyes to a lot of shit, money. He told me, like, in Puerto Rico, there's a, he's, like, 40 plus. He told me a lot of his friends, male friends who are gay, their wives don't know they're gay. What are you doing? They have a whole nigga on the side. But here's the catch. Their wives have a hint that they're gay. But they never ask because the man holds down everything he have to do at home. Nigga, when you have a good girl, my nigga, imagine what you're trading it up for just because of those small things. I know some people say cheating is crazy, but if you've been with a bitch for 10, 12, 20 years, my nigga, you probably cheating too. That's crazy. Bro, it's it's yo. I'm telling you, once you get older, you start to really see these, how these people high school really go. Imagine a girl who been with a nigga since they were high school and never been with anybody else, and now and they, she's forty, and now she's forty. You think her and that man not fucking They're somebody fucking else? Somebody else, bro. And they know about and it they're too. Telling each other about their adventures. They know about it. Even if they're not telling each other, they, they know, know about it. Yes. They know about it when he say he going to the bar. He not going to the bar. He going to that bitch house, bro. Yes, he had that whole mistress. She not going to she her book club. She a whole nigga. She not going to her book club. She get fucked. And you might be that nigga. Are you going to ruin the good thing that you have I because prom- you want to know? I promise you, bro. It gets wild as you get older. <laughs> I promise. That's why I said save your ego, You're going to ruin nigga. that one good moment in your uh, life. I hate it here. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> when you get older, people start dying. Yep. <laughs> Things nope. not go the way you're supposed to go. Nope, bro, I tell you, you need this blissful moment. You need this joy. That's why we need you're not going to ruin it just because you want to know. Nah, don't do Nigga, it. Nigga, you know. Don't do it. 
You don't want it to be confirmed. Don't. <laughs> exactly. You, <laughs> you don't want to hear about it. You know. Damn. Nigga. <laughs> that's why when a nigga say, yo, that's why when a nigga say that's been through some shit with a woman, if you cheating, don't tell me. Because, bro, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I might kill all of us. <laughs> Get <Hey>, out. <yo. laughs> whatever at that point. I don't yeah. know how I'm going to respond, my nigga. I might love you that much yo. where it hurts me that bad that I kill all of us and then some. You leave me first and then you tell me. Don't. And don't make me tell move me. on enough. <laughs> yeah, don't tell Matter me. Matter of fact, don't tell me even after you tell me. Matter of fact, after we move on, tell me you never cheated on me. I don't give it's a, a fuck. cold world, my nigga. It is. <laughs> Yo, you young, See, bro. That's what we're trying to tell you. Nah, but this shit's still going around with my age group, too. No, but, but, it's just no, like, what we're, no what we're trying to tell you is it don't stop. You just see it more and when then, you get older. And then, you telling and then, me everybody the same? Yes. No. All, no, I'm not saying we're all the same. We have the same tendencies. Yeah. Everybody has the same tendencies. Yes. Everybody cheats. Yes. Everybody has ancient everybody. ways. Not everybody, everybody has ancient ways. No, everybody have the potential to be ain't shit. Yeah. And if you put them in a position to... We're I've seen you, it firsthand. The best people with the greatest intentions can do the most fucked up shit and, to somebody they love. And just because you think a motherfucker is 40 and they've been in a relationship for 20 something years, they got kids and all that shit, that don't mean nothing. Oh, I know. That don't mean nothing. The nigga who smarts a lot kills the most. That don't mean nothing. <laughs> Bro, it gets wild. And then you start knowing these people too. Yeah. You start talking. These are your friends. As you get older, you start realizing the motherfuckers you talk to is in this is they this is their life. And you like Fuck, bro. I went to school with people who murdered babies, bro. Oh, I don't, I, ain't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, like that's what I'm, that's how real I'm trying to get you to let you understand. There's things that you you're hanging around with people now, and you expect and see the greatest in them, and but man. they have the worst trait in them, bro. And you never knew it. And you never know until it happens and becomes a reality. And you're going to be like, damn, nigga, I was just playing basketball with you the other day. Yo, bro, I got niggas that was, bro. Yes. We Yo, was playing Fortnite together. Your life is unfolding now, my nigga. We was playing Fortnite together. I did catching Battle Royales in real life. Yes. First place. Yes, bro. Locked up. Mm-hmm. It was clapping Your life niggas. is happening now, my nigga. Broad daylight. Like, yep. literally, bro, you're becoming an adult, my nigga. Shit I'm some crazy. real shit, my nigga. Like, that's why I said... Earlier on, you're going to be like, oh, shit, I see why my aunt is the way she is. I see why my uncle the way she is. I see why my mom... Like, a lot of people, a lot of girls, see be like, oh, my mom used to bring a lot of men home when I was younger. Now you're doing the same thing. <laughs> but you don't look... <laughs> <laughs> but you're looking at that right now. He's like, fuck. Should have stayed in the <laughs> Bro. Oh. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> That's life. But, bro, don't let this disappoint you because it's life it's is beautiful. It's a lot of great moments. It's beautiful. Here. Nah, it is. Yeah, it's just like, it's damn, that shit got but downsized to it. It's life, bro. Yeah, that shit crazy. That's what makes us tough, knowing that that expecting you can go through it and still move on. The weakest niggas, I'm going to say it, I don't care. Right? My condolences to all, all this happened to, but the weakest people are those that killed themselves. Damn. I remember the first time I told my older brother I was about to commit suicide. You know what his response was? What? <laughs> he laughed at me and told me I was a fucking fool. <laughs> Damn. You guess what happened Black next? Black people, dude. I never had the thought of killing myself ever again. <laughs> <laughs> See, bullying works. <laughs> Shit. That's how I be telling people sometimes. <laughs> That's how you gotta bully people into the right situation. Nah, real nigga shit, though. Yo, I that swear, shit work. I never thought that thought again. I he laughed at me. I was like, you're fucking fool. Y'all gotta kill yourself. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, the pots will be the funny. You started, you started laughing? I, I, yo, I, I, I didn't know how to feel. I felt so sad, but now I'm looking back at it. I'm like, yo, I it was see what. So it was so stupid. <laughs> Because I wasn't really going through nothing. Nah, in fact. Especially because you told him to. Niggas just be needing a haircut. Yes. 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 You just be needing a haircut. That's it's it. It's some bitches. That's yes. it. That's all niggas need. It's some weed. All right, man. Niggas don't be depressed for real. It's some whiskey, man. All right, Bill. You have any last words? Hmm. Anything you want to get off your chest? Any bad, any dumb bitch that did you dirty recently? Yeah, <laughs> but I ain't, I ain't found out to just now. What do you mean? It was from like now? a year ago. Oh da- damn! I did some research. I was just like, damn, fuck it. All right, before we go, let me tell my story. Right, 
I don't want to tell my story, I might cry. Nah, so, right? As an adult, I learned that I took this girl virginity when I was a teenager. But here's the crazy part, right? I didn't learn from the girl it's her herself. I learned because I was trying to fuck her friend years later. And then she told me that she can't fuck with me because I took her best friend's virginity. I'm like, who's your best friend? <laughs> And she tells me who her best friend. So I hit the best song. I'm like, I took your virginity. <laughs> Yo. But I'm like, it makes sense because there's blood that day. <laughs> it ain't click. I was young, bro. <laughs> She's like, whatever. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The things you think that makes sense now. <laughs> it just makes sense now. That's... <laughs> Yo, what was your craziest experience during rump? When you was rumping? The one of them fucking the girl in college with four condoms in my pocket. Me not knowing I take a girl's virginity. Um, me letting a girl scare me and thinking there was an actual pregnancy scare only because she wanted some money by using Plan B. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, girl's uh, godmother walked right into us while we was playing R. Kelly. Damn. And I ran all the way home to my dad's house. I remember Dude. one time we tried to run the train on the girl back in middle school, and this one nigga hogged it up by saying his dick can't get hard. <laughs> oh, wow. That got to be awkward as hell. <laughs> but I low key didn't want parts in the train, so it worked out for me. <laughs> like, oh, well, it's over now. Let's Bro. Oh, but later on, her little sister snitched to her parents. <laughs> <laughs> her parents showed up at the school late. <laughs> Bro, this is before social media. Shit was wild. I remember leaving school early in the middle of a blizzard to walk three, four blocks to watch two girls fight, bro. Oh, that was great. Only wearing a hoodie. Yo, bro, we used to have to get on other people's buses, and it used to be a storm and a bunch of like, yo, who are y'all going? And I'm like, yo. But yes. Like, like, at that point, why are, why are they mad? Look, at, it's just school. We're young. I mean, in high school, we had bus passes, bro. We bro, all used fighting to in a per- blizzard, nigga? Oh, yeah. And we had to go to school. Nigga, in, in high school, we had bus passes, nigga. We used to go to the McDonald's downtown. Yes, there's an upstairs that was blocked off. We used to literally go over that shit and do nothing but things we're not supposed to do up there, bro. I remember I went there one time. As a Ordering young... like, we used to go there and order like 10 McChickens, bro. As a young Windsor, <laughs> as a young Windsor lad, I went up there one time. I was like, yo, this is wild. Yes. And we was the niggas doing the wild All shit. All them up. kids in them uniforms just up there. Just and it'd be like doing... five different high schools down there, nigga. Just this is doing... when high school Inc. was popping. Then we had University High. Then every, because every high school was giving out bus passes for all the kids that's out of town, nigga. So we used to all just meet up downtown. So uh, there was a fight that went viral on the news, nigga, because high school Inc. and a whole bunch of high schoolers just got met downtown and jumped each other in front of Burger King, my nigga. Like, it was, Bruh. I seen somebody punch... A, a double plexiglass window op- like broken, my nigga. They punched it, nigga, and broke it. With the Burger King downtown, King downtown, is, downtown is a double layered wild. plexiglass window. Somebody punched it, they beat hands and broke it, my nigga. Nigga, if you, you were Weaver? ready to no. go. No. <laughs> but that's how everybody met up downtown because no. we had bus passes. That Burger King, nigga, if you weren't ready to go to war, if you didn't yes. have like a shank on you, my nigga, that was do the place not to fight. go to that Burger King. At night, my nigga, so when we used to go, we used to go to West Farms and we used to take the bus down there, right? And if you was down there after the mall closed, so you was catching the bus at like 9 30, 9 45, 10, right? And you go downtown at that time with all these young niggas, my nigga, and you tried to go to Burger King, bro. That was your ass, my nigga. Like somebody was, it was something always happening downtown. Always. At that time. The licks bro. come out, the dummies come out, bro. and the high school. At that out. time, downtown Hartford was like, there was clubs everywhere. So it so was everybody like people was downtown. everywhere. Everywhere. Damn. 960 was popping at this time. So the white people came from all over the place on Friday nights, even in the winter time with beer shorts. But we ain't going to get into that because we're going to hit two hours, Mark. Again. Yeah, for real? Yeah, we were almost there. Tell them where they can find you. Feel me? Ace is so Chris on TikTok. Snapchat. I don't even know why I said Snapchat. That shit for white people. That shit for people who sell pussy. <laughs> Twitch, YouTube. I know where to find pussy. me, man. Nah, facts. I buy pussy. Some. Well, I buy. I pay for OnlyFans. <laughs> Come on, bro. I don't care. I support black businesses, bro. I don't care, my nigga. I do it, my nigga. If I want these girls to keep being successful and being content creators, I'm going to support them just like I want people to support me. That's how it is at the end of the day. Don't fucking judge me. I know the bitches that I pay for. I know them. It's not just some right, bitch that's, I made that's a little I, different. Every girl OnlyFans I paid for, I actually know them. 
and I support them because I know them. That's why I do it. I've never paid for a girl only fans if I've never known them. The shame for it. I told y'all I want to buy pussy one time just to see what it feels like. I don't care. I just want to see if they make the poom poom just a little bit better just because I paid for it directly. <laughs> I give my wife a tip. Ah, I ain't get the joke. Double but entendre. Try, put it on, on stage. Kicks my next comedy special <laughs> on YouTube at Weed and Whiskey Podcast. <clears throat> Y'all already know. Please subscribe to Weed and Whiskey Podcast everywhere. It's literally Weed and Whiskey Podcast everywhere. YouTube, subscribe, monetize us. We're trying to run them numbers up. And we're funny. We're funnier than the person that you watch. We're funnier than your favorite white person who pretend to be black. We're funny, bitch. And we're not just funny. <laughs> we're smart, too. So and we're smart funny. Suck at Galua. Yes. <laughs> Pussy boy. Yes. I'm pussy girl. Yes. Whatever you want to be. <laughs> exactly. You he, pussy, she. Yeah, pussy, you know what's funny? It's not people. insulting calling somebody a he, she today. Because that's exactly what they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and them out there, and they, and, and the they, fucking, them. And ours. Yeah, they, them ass motherfucker. And the news, <laughs> and the, the, the it's. The it's, and the fucking, the glamours. Whatever the, the fuck you want to call yourself. Tigers. The reptiles. You whatever seventy-two gender you fall under, whatever you is, subscribe to us. No and matter what, make sure you subscribe to Eight to So Chris as well too. That nigga just sure. trying to make niggas. Laugh. And no matter what sub you are, too. you always a nigga. Y'all better sub. Better. It's going on YouTube, right? Everywhere. If you watching on YouTube, y'all better sub. Better. I'm gonna wait. Facts. Just use the word that young. I'm gonna judge you. Sub. Sub. Sub to the YouTube. I'm gonna judge you. You did it. You think I'm joking, nigga? Sub. What I'm gonna fuck? judge you. We're going to judge. Oh, you. you clicked it? All right, we're All right, bet. Good luck. Hurry up. All right, bet. Good luck. All right, man. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, I know what we always got to end this shit is fucking 2023, soon to be 2024. And that don't mean we're going to stop screaming this shit. It's the message that we get famous. And even when we get famous, please grab her by the pussy with consent. Be amazing and be great. We love you. Hoes, bitches. I want you. I love you. Be great. Suck it, y'all.